Welcome back to Module 4 Working with EEG Data. This section is about data analysis in Python. And this lesson is going to be about EEG tools and datasets that you can use. The slides for this section are going to be relatively short since half of the material is going to be covered in the Google Colab notebook, which I'll link to the description down below if you're watching this on YouTube. You can watch these videos in the Google Colab notebook itself and you should be able to work on the Colab notebook so you don't have to download anything. So the data sets that you will be using are already imported from the existing code for your, for your convenience. So uh, now let's get started. So here's what we already know. Before analyzing EEG data, we must first pre-process the data. Such methods include uh, filtering, re-referencing, downsampling, and artifact rejection. We can further apply signal processing techniques such as Fourier transform and computing the power spectral density for EEG data analysis. So here are some key questions that we'll try to cover in this video. Should we use Python or MATLAB for EEG data analysis? And what are some tools in Python that we can use for EEG data analysis? And where can I find accessible EEG data sets? So um, this, these are some differences between Python and MATLAB. So Python's function, um, so let's start with MATLAB actually. Um, MATLAB's functionality is centralized inside the program, so it is more consistent to use. But with Python, you have to learn a lot more libraries to accomplish your goal. And these libraries might be inconsistent with each other, so it requires a lot more tweaking and fixes and reading documentation. Um, MATLAB has very extensible toolboxes like EEG Lab, which is used by many neuroscientists for research purposes. Python is primarily made for people who are programmers, and MATLAB is designed primarily for non-programmers. And if you program your code correctly in MATLAB, it can be faster and more efficient than Python. Python is free and open source. In contrast, MATLAB is expensive to use since it's a proprietary language. Python is commonly used in software engineering and for many types of commercial neurotechnologies for EEG data analysis. Meanwhile, MATLAB is commonly used in academia and engineering, and so many neuroscience researchers use MATLAB. Each language has their pros and cons, but for them, for like both of them, you can um, essentially accomplish the same goals for your EEG data analysis. So here is one of the most important Python tools for signal processing. SciPy is a library that has functions that are useful in scientific computing, such as interpolation, signal processing, and statistical analysis. In SciPy, you can do almost all of your EEG signal processing, such as applying filters, and these functionalities can apply to any type of signal and not just EEG data. And here is another um, very useful Python tool for EEG signal processing. So ME is specifically used for signal processing with EEG and MEG data. So whereas SciPy is used for science and engineering in general, ME is specifically designed for EEG and MEG. Therefore, ME is more optimized for EEG and MEG. But do you know that since more people use SciPy in general, there are more available tools and help resources online for using SciPy? But what's nice about ME is that it's much easier to use whenever you explore, visualize, and analyze EEG data specifically, which I'll show you in the next slide. So these are some basic low-pass filtering code in MNE and SciPy, which I coded up for implementing pre-processing procedures in my research lab. So they both accomplish essentially the same goal, but in m &E, you can just simply use one line of code and abstract away everything else. So that's why I ended up choosing an, the m &E version since I was working specifically with EEG data and the code looks much simpler as you can see here. So where can I find accessible EEG data? 
So here are some places where you could access free EEG datasets. The first one is OpenNeuro, which is a free and open platform for sharing neuroimaging datasets, including fMRI, MEG, and EEG. ME also has a few sample datasets in which you can access directly in Python, and we'll be looking briefly at one of them in the CoLab notebook for pre-processing. And another source is NEMAR or NEMAR, which stands for Neuroelectromagnetic Data Archive and Tools Resource, which has accessible EEG and MEG data archives, analysis, and visualizations. And there are many other EEG datasets out there that are made publicly available by research institutions, so you can just simply search them up online. All right, so to summarize, Python and MATLAB are both useful languages for EEG data analysis. SciPy and ME are great signal processing libraries, and ME is more specifically used for EEG and MEG. And lastly, um, EEG datasets can be accessible online from a variety of sources. So next, you will run some pre-processing code, which I'll link to the description below if you're currently not in the Google Colab. And then after running some pre-processing code, you will then look into analyzing ERPs, which I'll discuss more in the next video. So have fun.